the last, my last update, you were going to uh, do some test well, but that's not on the schedule. That, that'd be part of the project. Part of the whole project. Yeah, that's in there as a uh, item number 26 there. We can do that outside the project if you want. It's, it's fair. Eventually, it's the cost. eventually it's the cost you'll pay, but... I think we already know we've got water down there. Mm -hmm. Um, so this this three hundred ninety five thousand dollar project is an all or none one level there at the beginning. So this is not a project anymore to drill a well. That's yeah, I mean it was primarily started as a well project, but then you've got all the spinoffs because you're going to have a you're going to have an electrical inspector come to the site when you're done. So that's yeah, that's where the rest of it stems from. And again, you may bid it, maybe favorable bids. It may come in lower. We're not saying it won't. This is this is if you if you use the if you take the state's money, the state's going to make you do the, all these upgrades, um, and that's kind of why we included them all to get all in there. If you take the state's low interest loan, they're going to make you do all this stuff. If you just want a well, it may be able to be done for cheaper, but you're you're still going to end up having to do these these upgrades at some point in time. So if we if we hire somebody to drill a well and he puts a pump in there and he and we run new water main and put in the new conduit and the new uh, motor starters and then in two, three, four, ten years the DNR comes down and says, well you never did the rest of this stuff. It's going to cost you more at that time to to fix these issues. And they'll put you on a timeline to do it. I mean it won't be at your your will itself. This is this is what came out of our evaluation. Is that part of this book? Some of it's in there. Um, that all the electrical it, components it, weren't in there. The details that aren't as aren't as. Uh, but the well part was in there. Right. I think there's yeah, something figured in there. This is pretty much the rest of it. Yeah. Yep. Well, and then we've been working with the DNR too, and I gave Marlene an amendment to that book that the DNR wanted us to do. Say you're on a viability assessment, you guys, and make sure. They look at your system and make sure that you're charging enough and the water you're producing. Um, and the numbers are way off in the beginning. So we've worked with the DNR and as we've got new meters in, we're trying to look at those meters and assess where you are and you know how those meters look and coordinate with the DNR just to make sure they're happy with everything. So how many test wells do you propose there? You know, could hit it on the first one and and be done. I think we talked to him today, he said about five thousand dollars for one test well. Um, under the assumption that you don't hit water in the first test well, just to make sure you have enough money to do a couple. <coughs> but you only got it down for ten thousand. Yeah, that would be for two. If you, if you don't hit water on the first one, then we have to drill a second one. So if we don't hit it on the second one, we got to go a third one, cost another five grand for us. That'll be bid. So I mean, we can't tell exactly what the cost will be. I mean, they may bid two thousand dollars a test well. I mean, similar to what you saw tonight in the bidding no, environment. No problem hit water. Yeah. From what I understand, it doesn't sound like you'll have a problem hitting water, but with the, the kind of aquifer you're using, the water quality can vary dramatically from, you know, 200 feet away, it could be completely different. Do you warranty how long the well will last? <laughs> there's, there's no way, there's no, it's a, it's a geological formation, I can't warrant it. <laughs> well, what about the electrical, is that warranty? Well, see, you can yeah. have a warranty in the project, and that's, I know last time we talked about maybe you guys installing some of the switches or trying to do some of the work on the site, and that would be the only issue there is, I mean, you may void the warranty if he says, hey, somebody come well, in and do it. Um, I we mean, can write whatever warranty you, you want. Send it whatever and you'll pay for it, I mean, accordingly. I mean, they'll bid up more if it's a longer warranty, so we can put it to whatever you want. Um, we can't warrant, you can't warranty a well until, that's one of the reasons you do a test well is to make sure there's water there. Nobody knows there's water there right now, so like, you can't warranty a well. Um, I have a problem and with getting the water. I just have a problem with them spending three hundred fifty thousand dollars or whatever to three hundred ninety-four thousand dollars. This last well was supposed to last us forever a day. Well, I'll never trust anybody to tell us something that's going to last forever. Bingo! Don't trust you to that. <laughs> I didn't tell you it was going to last forever. I'll tell you it won't last forever. Is it jetting? Is that coming up later in the agenda? The jetting is done. All right. I'm going to be in the corner.
successful, not successful. successful. You show a picture of it, that come well, pumping good. You I think you said, said you were good. I said the camera. Want. I have I have a video. Oh, okay. DVD. And we went from, I don't know if I have those figures in this folder or not. I have them. I think they're in my other folder. You need an answer today. We, we just need your direction. I mean, it, if, if you guys want to think about it, the only op, you know, the only downside of that is time, time, and then getting it to the DNR and, and you know, in your prime well drilling time period. I mean, and, and you having one well and, and an issue going wrong with that. That's we could go on with the test. You could do it if you wanted to put it separately and you know go outside and use like that. Can you use the test well without the problem? What's that? Well, they, would they use our test well? You know, if we bid test well right now to drill well, or would an engineer have a problem with that? We don't have any problems with that. What's a what's a what what constitutes a test well? On the they drill a little two-inch hole all the way down until they hit until they hit water, and you can't. That's not enough for you. That's cheap, and it's not enough for you to actually get enough water. But that's they just show that that there's water down there and then they can test the water to find out the quality of that water and they can get an idea based on the size of that hole what a large hole would give you. Do they give as far as flow? Yes. That's what I was going to ask. The flow or how depth you can, you can, you water You can it? estimate, you can estimate based on, based on the, if I pump, if I pump, yeah, based on the drawdown of the tiny well, what a larger well will be. Are they also looking, they're also looking at what, what you're drilling into or is it? Well, they'll also look at what you're what you're drilling through, which will help you, which will help you maybe reduce the cost of the actual drilling project. Maybe. No, <laughs> no, tell, tell you it'll reduce the cost, but in the end, it probably won't. <laughs> I'm just telling you what the well drill will tell you. <laughs> How deep are they going in town? Couple hundred foot. Oh, they drove down. Right now? Uh, we're at 41. 41 foot? We got a lot of water around there. That's <laughs> especially down in the lower part. <laughs> They're going to drill a 41. It's going to put a two inch pipe in it for $5,000. Well, and they have to pump it and check te it. And test it. it. <laughs> and then you have to. There's all sorts of environmental rules about what you do with the water that you pump out of that well. You can't just let that. You can't just let it go in the ditch. So there's a rule against that. So yeah, they're going to dig a 30-inch well for six thousand. That's the whole. That's the whole. Yes. <laughs> Do we have a price on drilling oil? A bit, or a, we don't have an engineered price to drill oil. That's an estimated price. Yes. Yeah. Uh, for the well, it's the well by itself with the motor and the pitless and, and everything was about 100,000 is what we were told by the well drilling. And that's using, using other estimates from other projects like this. I, I, I came up with, oh, I think it was 87. Yeah. How do they come up with that if they don't have a 40 foot piece from there? It might be 210 feet per week. It's time. It takes them just as much time to drill a test well as it takes them to drill a whole well. We need more material on the whole well. Let's switch to right there. Well, and there's there's yeah. there's a cost of them coming to site. Including Part of the mobilization up top. Number one bid item. Actually, drill the well, or do you hire somebody that you hire to drill the well? We put together a set of plans and specs, and then put it out for a put it out for a bit. We did. We have solicited. We have 
talked to well drillers who drill this type of well and got numbers from them. In fact, the well, the guy that came in jet jetted your well recently there you go. gave us the number. Is there some way to cross reference this first um, base upgrade and optional upgrade to, to the first and second base? Well, there is some of the some of the uh, the electric electrical engineer stuff I didn't think was actually um, like the existing well three. He had options in there to put something down in the biodiesel well to make that interact with the system. I wanted you to know it's an option, and I think we kind of threw it out last time, so that was eliminated from from the new estimates on there. So. Some of the things that so you some of the numbers might not add up. Didn't seem interesting. We wanted you to know it's an option. You didn't want it there. It's there. I don't think you, it's there. We, in our opinion, you didn't, you didn't really need it. I, I was trying to look at this and get from the format of the base upgrades here to the, you know, your new well. To the new estimate sheets. And base. Well, this is a, um, existing well house. Electrical services, existing well house electrical service, existing well house controls and instrumentation, existing well house controls and instrumentation. I just summarized it a little bit. I got it. Did you have the generator in here somewhere? It's basically, it's kind of the same price as the few things that, you know, we were thrown out there's an option you guys really didn't want. Those were thrown out so that you have kind of two options to choose from. One just kind of upgrading and get it in a central location so that you know future add-ons, maintenance, things like that are going to be a little bit easier for you. If you have a new operator come on at some point, I mean it'll be easier for him to understand the system and operate it. Kind of the two options that, that it looks like it would be per month per user. First option was a five dollar and thirteen cent increase. Sex, second option was a six dollar and thirty cent increase. So there's about a dollar and seventeen cents between the two per month. stay the same as the last meeting. I really think we need a second look at this. Is that a problem with you guys? If we would here, I mean, have someone else take a look at this yeah, project, you're welcome to do it, whatever you want. And, um, now last meeting they said that we have already contracted with you guys to do the well, but this is not really an engineering contract yet, is it? There's no contract. You guys had, had made the motion to go with it. Um, right. We want to look into it and get your options so that could have thrown a price right at you and said do it. And then if you say you want to go with the lowest option, hey, we make more money. But we want to kind of give your options and make sure we're giving you what you want. So 